You know, this disappoints me more than I'd like to admit. What a heartbreaking situation I find myself in right now. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jet TV. I'm J Lab and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenger of Siena. And this is the 23rd video of the series, if I'm making sure I'm getting this correct. But thank you very much for dropping by, dropping by, as we are talking about Mazza again, because he's mistrained for the first time, and I'm very disappointed in my best central midfielder who has honestly been pretty good this year, I'm not going to lie. So despite how bad he's been in his behaviour, he's definitely been better and better this year. His morale is is very, is pretty poor, unfortunately, so it's a bit of a shame here. But he's done well. And we're actually in October as well, so I want to go through some things with you guys. But before I do that... Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, sharing everything. They have been very, very helpful to me and it means more than you know. It really does. Just going through the analytics as of late and seeing how much has changed just really makes me realise just how much you guys mean to me, honestly. So thank you. But yes... We're going to talk about the results that happened since we last met up. And we've had seven league games since then. How do we get on? So we started the league campaign with a 0-0 draw. And our second game of the season was another 0-0 draw. A few things we can take away from this is 1. We've kept two clinch in a row. 2. We've not scored in two games. 3. We're unbeaten. 4. We haven't won yet. So, two points from the opening two matches. Can't complain, we had a goal rolled off offside too, so can we improve on this? The next game we had was against Satoru, and this is a team that beat us at the beginning of the last season, but we went ahead against them in this game after Giozzini scored his third of the season, I think it's his third or second of the season, but we didn't have the lead for very long. We considered in the 68th minute of the game, Tosi scoring that goal, but we did get a winner in the 88th minute of the match. Makura finds Mazo, Gazzini finds Gabriel, and Gabriel, with that effort, finds the bottom corner for his first goal in over a year. And it was enough to ensure we took all three points in this game. And Nunes, Gabriel Nunes, had a 9.3 racing, and he's continuing his magnificent form from last season. He's doing it again. And I'm very excited for what we can see from him because he's very good on his day. All three points against a team that beat his last season at this ground. Could not have been better, even if our XG was a bit high against us. But we did well. Our next game was away from home against Nuni Pernod Pianissi. And Comanetti scored the opening goal here in the 38th minute of the game. And just before half time, we got ourselves a second. Martina plays it across. And Giazzini scores again. He's on fire right now. He's done well for himself. And to make it so we had a two goal lead before half time was really what we needed. And we've had a good game here. We had some players that weren't actually around due to international duty. And Scapato was good. McNanny was good. Everyone had a good game apart from Laneri. But at that point, we didn't need to worry about it because we had such a good game and such a good performance. They were good. We did ourselves justice and we got all three points. Our next game was at home against Teremo and some players were starting different roles again. Scafato plays his back and Giozzini scores again. So this guy has been good. Very, very good. And we get ourselves a second goal in the 40th minute. Laneri finds Gabriel. He finds Mazza and Giozzini is played through and he gets his second of the game. I'm going to say this here now. We have done quite well in this game to get a 2-0 win. They will probably say they should have got a goal and maybe we shouldn't have got a second, but we took our chances when we needed them. And we had the same amount of shots as they did and they had the better chances, so we just took our chances. They didn't. 
One team that absolutely took a chances though was Virginia and oh my goodness me, we lost this game 5-0. Voltan got the opening goal for this effort and we should have done better here. And then 20 minutes into the game, we're 2-0 down and Vasco with that effort, top corner, not being saved at all. Then we started to have a few questionable moments and the first time of the season I was considered, look at this goal for example. Keeper, keep what you're doing. Defender's not communicating. Volton gets a second of the game. 57 minutes in, it's 3 0. Then, just a few minutes later, 59 minutes in, it's 5. Timasino gets the goal, and we then get seen another in the, fifth, in the 65th minute of the game. Long ball at the top. Zampano scores. I, I don't believe anyone else substitutes. I had literally just walked away. On the game at that point because I, I had to take a breather i had to get my head back clear my mind because we lost five we were five nil down inside 65 minutes and we've never conceded five goals in the game in the save before and we lost five nil in our worst ever defeat as Sienna manager and against a team that we faced every single season for the most part and i couldn't quite believe we had just done that badly i don't know what it is about this game but they took all their chances and their XG was only 1.56, so they didn't have the best chances, but they were very, very clinical. And they did exactly what we had to... Well, they did exactly what they needed to do against us. That was our first defeat of the season, and before this game, we had a plus 5 goal difference. They completely destroyed our goal difference, and I wasn't happy. Our next game was at home against Miss Pesaro, and... Enderly gets the ball here. He gets the ball for if Martin and scores. One nil inside three minutes. Well, just a few minutes later, we're fighting back. Baddy's on the ball. He's on the ball here. He plays it back to Martina. And Martina plays a cross. And Giozzini scores again. It's one all. 22 minutes in. Two minutes later, Laneri plays the ball forward. And Giozzini has scored again. Two goals in three minutes. He's on good form. In the 55 minute game, Martina fights. A chance to play across in. Roca scores his first goal in the league and the keeper made a mistake and he's thinking, oh my god, what have I done? Pacero gets and sells a goal back though. As Reda scores that header to make it 3 2. I love the fact that it's only one there. Gabriel plays this across Giazzini and Roca scores his second of the game. Look, Giazzini's got another, it's got an assist now. What are we doing? So, we then get ourselves a fifth. Martina finds El Adid. He plays it across to Fantosi, who has got his first ever goal for the club with that effort. And after conceding five, we score five. So, completely different matches. And I couldn't quite believe what, why we had done so well. And I actually was a lot worse. It was not as good as uh, Regini's either. So, we were just really good today. And it showed. But for Fantosi to come ahead, come off the bench and get a goal himself, that was good. And he's improving nicely too. What about the last match before I met up with you guys again? Our last match was against Wimini and we did a good job here. Laneri plays us forward and Giozzini plays it across to Rokas. Who's not going to miss a Scott opportunity like that? But he goes in two from him. And that was enough to ensure we took all three points against Wimini, who we've been beaten numerous times. And this was our first victory against him in a very long time. And that was the last game before we met up. So, where are we now on the table? I hear you ask. We are currently in fourth place. After eight matches with 17 points, five wins, two draws, one defeat. The last time we had a start this good was the year we absolutely collapsed in the second half of the season and it was when we started this tactic as well so that tells you a lot now Doza has got five clean sheets too so we've only conceded goals in three games which really goes to show that the we only we conceded eight goals and five of which came in one match so yeah two games we played and we conceded five goals we could see seven goals in two matches. But outside of that, we've been pretty good in the last five matches. Four wins and five. And the fact we came from 5-0, to be beaten 5-0 to get a 
uh, 5-2 win and then beat a team that is kind of in sixth place, that's a good run of form. Yes, they've lost three of the last four matches, but that is still a difficult team at the moment. They're one of the better ones. And our next opponent is against Fano, who we played twice because they, we've got them in the cup as well. I'm not going to show you the second match because, honestly, going to be honest, I'm more focused on the league. We'll be honest and say that I'm more focused on the league. I want to see how we can do this game because we've been very good and it's been one of those games. Also, shout out to this guy, to Giazzini. He's got six goals and three assists in the first eight matches. I've not used him in years. I, he's never scored before this season. We barely, we've only really used him from the bench. He had no stars before the season, and all of a sudden I've decided, okay, I'm going to play this guy because he's apparently the better player. He's better than Sator. Why have I been using Sator all this time? Yes, he's good. Sator got nine goals one year, but last year he wasn't that good. And this guy's been really incredible. Also, Fantosi, he's not incredible, but he's looking pretty good as well. If he's able to start to do damage in this age, at the age of 6, 17, he's good. And Aleoni is also looking good. He's, we're starting to get players that are coming from youth intakes that are starting to make themselves irregulars. Maz has also been good, even if he has decided to skip training for a day. I'm still in love with him because well, I, I'm, I still want him to do well because he is my one of my first players to come from my youth intakes. And I get attached to these players, okay? I shouldn't do, but I get attached to them. And Scott Pato, he's getting better. Look at him now. He's getting good. Along with Campanotti. They're looking good. Yes, he's, he's had a few questionable stats at times, but that doesn't matter. We're going to do well. We're going to beat Fano, and we're going to have a good celebration because... We can win, and if we win this game and the results go for our favour, we could be top of the table. <gasps> can you believe it? Got a chance to just throw in. Laneri, Maza, Laneri, he can play this in the middle, can he? It's his opportunity to do so. He finds Giozzini, Laneri again. Plays it back to Gabriel. Ooh, question marks here. Laneri, Gabriel again. Maza. Oh, that's a good ball with Rokas Gates today. He has done. That's a goal. Five minutes in. Questionable defending, questionable keeping there. Keeper should probably claim this, but that's a good start. We've needed this sort of thing to get the ball rolling. I'm going to look at this game from this angle, but I feel the keeper could probably have done something here. Look at this ball. It's a really good ball. Keeper, yes, could he have done this? I think he could have claimed that. But that's just me. So I go a throw. And no, my life, this is one of the games we just absolutely dropped the ball with. So that's something to be careful about. Marino is on the ball. He's trying to do something. Here's Carpani. Who apparently my who Banny's apparently concerned by. Is Sheba. And I don't know what he's gonna do here, but it could be a good ball because it has found Marino. Look at the space out wide, by the way. What the heck? And then we got the ball, it's in blocks. Another opportunity potentially to cross it in, maybe? He's gonna play it back. He's going to cross it this time, and we go away, but only as far as Butuini and Carpani. What a goal. Gianluca Carpani has just done that. What a finish that is. I'm sorry. that I can't even criticise. I, I can't even be upset. That is just that good of a goal. When a goal like this goes in, you just can't, you can't be upset. It's a top corner and everything. It's ridiculous. Or free kick, Fanny would take it. Can we get a goal before half time? <gasps> yes, Nunes scores. It's a bit lucky because I think Comanetti's hit the bar and it's gone it's fallen to feet to the feet of Gabriel. But I'll take the goal. It doesn't matter how we get the goals as long as we get the goals, right? He's hit the bar yet. Yeah. Oh, it's literally fallen to come to Gabriel. That's so fortunate. Okay, so 90 per minute of the game. We either score a goal, we concede. I'm just seeing this now. And Camponotti has just scored his first ever goal. Michael Camponotti, he's come from the bench and he scores. He came on. <laughs> Would you believe it? Giazzini. So, all three points are ours. And the header from Camponotti, I'm not sure what the defender's doing there, but I don't care. That's a 3-1 win for us. And it's all three points as far as I'm concerned. 
as I say that, it literally got another highlight. I swear, if we get a fourth, that'd be interesting. Well, Gary, look at this now. Fantasoni. Makua. You play it for it has done. It's not been the best pass. Here's Marino. I still remember when we only had one right back at the beginning of the save, and there we are. And LRD, can he do something with this? He goes for goal. Oh, that's his first of the season. He's not scored in about 30 something matches. And we've got two goals in a few minutes to absolutely make sure we win this. It's nice to know that we can get these late goals. They're trying to get something. I don't know why they're trying to go for so as attack as they were, but that is a very good finish. And I'm not complaining at all. That is so ridiculous how good that was. And there's another highlight. I could could we get a fifth? No, they they think they're right, but we've been good in this game. We've literally could not complain at all. This was a very good performance. And a 4-1 win. I'll take that any day of the week. First thing stands, we are top of the table, but there are games teams have got games in hand above us, so as things stand, we win the top two. Can you believe it? And to set a win to take top spot again but look at this so far after nine matches we are in second place with 20 points that's half the points we need to avoid relegation all the relegation playoffs so i'm very very happy can keep it up i don't know but what i do know is i'm gonna end this video here i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys like and share this video and that you will subscribe to my channel it really does help me a lot and so anyway until next time goodbye and Good night.